In this section, I'm going to start to talk about different mechanisms to filter some routes from BGP table. First of all, in this scenario, I'm going to advertise some routes from R4 and on R1, I want to filter those routes out so that you can see how we can achieve this goal. So let's go to router 4 first. On router 4, first of all, show IP BGP it tells me that I am advertising 4440 slash 24 and this is the only route that I'm advertising right now. On router 1, I'm going to check my BGP table and see if I receive that route. Show IP BGP. As you can see, I am receiving that route and this is the next hub. And I have different mechanisms to filter this. The best mechanism, of course, is to use an IP prefix list. To do this, I go to configuration mode and write an IP prefix list. And that's going to be filter prefix list. And in sequence 5, I'm going to deny this route. So I deny 4440 slash 24. And in sequence 10, I'm going to permit everything else. So if I have any other route, that's not going to be filtered out. So in sequence 10, or even sequence 100, that's going to be uh, enough space if I want to deny some other routes. I'm going to permit... 0, 0, 0, 0, slash 0, less than 32, or equal to 32. This is a prefix list that I just created. Now let's go to rather BGP process. And let me see, the process is the process number. If I show IP protocol, I can see that the BGP is BGP1. Okay, so I go to rather BGP1 and in rather BGP1 I attach this to my neighbor. So let me show IP BGP summary. I want to begin that with my neighbors and this is my neighbor IP address. So I have neighbor 14114 and I'm going to attach this prefix list to that. And the prefix list name is filter prefix list. And of course, you have inbound and outbound. And in this case, I'm going to use inbound. And nothing else is going to happen here. I just hit enter. Should do clear IP BGP anything softly. And now that I have cleared the BGP table, I want to show IP BGP table. And now you can see that there is nothing about 4440 in my BGP table. And when I do not have anything here, do I advertise that route to other routers? For example, router 2. If I clear IP BGP anything softly here to make sure that the BGP table is up to date and try to show IP BGP, you can see that Yo, know, nothing. There is nothing about router force loopback zero here, because on router one I have filtered that out, and there is nothing to advertise to other routers when that's filtered out. And let's go to router four and create another loopback interface. I'm going to create interface loopback 44, and for this IP address is going to be 44, 44, 44, 44, with a mask of 32 bit for example and I'm going to go to rather BGP 4 and rather BGP 4 and here I'm going to advertise this 44 44 44 44 with a mask of 32 bits now let's show IP BGP table I'm advertising this route and that's it now if I go to router 1, show IP BGP, I can see the route and you can see that this is not filtered because my prefix list had only one, one line of command to, to filter loopback 0 of router 4. I can apply other types of filtering here. Let's remove this command. I'm not going to attach this prefix list any longer. 
what I'm going to do is to create a distribute list. A distribute list uses an access list and I'm going to show you how that works. So for this neighbor, 14114, I'm going to have a distribute list and the distribute list as you can see accepts an access list and the number is going to be for example 4 and again I have the option to have this inbound or outbound. Let's create access list 4, access list 4. What I'm going to do is to deny uh, 4440 to 0002255. Now this is the access list and in the second part I'm going to permit anything else so I go to permit 0000 and 0000 and hit enter that's it uh, mostly I, I will not go with deny I prefer to go with permit because at the end of any permit I can have uh, uh, an, expl an implicit deny but here I had to do this so let's check my BGP table after clearing IP BGP. So this is a clearing. Now if I show IP BGP, I can see that 4444 is removed. And of course 44, 44, 44, 44 is removed as well. So there's a problem with my access list. I'm going to uh, correct it. Uh, sometimes there is a very, very uh, simple thing here. So let's do this. No access list uh, 4. Instead, access list 4, deny 4440000255. And access list 4, permit any. That's the correct thing. So let's clear the BGP table again. And let's show BGP. Now you can see that 4444 is removed, but 44, 44, 44, 44 is there. That's how we can use an access list in, instead of a prefix list. And of course, you can see that I am assigning this access list directly to the neighbor. So I can assign a prefix list, I can assign an access list, and of course, I can assign a route map. I can use this prefix list or access list inside the route map and attach that route map to my neighbor. That way I may have better control over what I'm receiving or what I am advertising. But here I have the ability to do this in various forms. So I prefer the, the flexibility and I will use them instead of a route map.